What made Jesus drive out people who were selling in the temple? Crumbs from Gerard. Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. There are two reasons why Jesus was angry. One is because they were selling in the temple. But the second, he was so angry that as in the Gospel of John, he actually makes a whip and drives them out. He gets violent. Why? Because they made the house of God a den of robbers. Let me try to explain this to you. Now, there were two groups of people. One who were money changers. Now, what was the issue with them? A little background. Now, every male Jew had to give a half a shekel as tax, temple tax. And there were two places where you could give that temple tax. One is before the festival, about a month before that. In the towns and villages, booths were set up where you could do this giving of taxes. But many people preferred to give the tax in the temple itself. Now what happened at the temple? At the temple, only the shekel could be collected. No foreign currency as it was impure. And in Galilee, all kind of currencies were in use. So people had to exchange the currencies for a shekel. And here's when the money collectors made a huge profit. And who suffered? The poor. So Jesus was against the poor being treated. Injustice over here. Let's take the case of animals being sold. Now, nearly every visit to the temple needed some sacrifice of the other. So, people had to bring the animals. But now there was a catch. Only animals which were unblemished, without any mark on them, could be brought to the temple for sacrifice. And so, many people found it was difficult to bring animals from their own places because of some kind of blemish that could be found in it. So, they preferred buying it at the temple. But these animals at the temple were sold at a much higher rate. So, who suffered? The poor suffered. So, why is Jesus angry? Because the poor were treated unjustly. Now, a minute meditation for you. Is there any practice in the church that you think Jesus would find questionable? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.